Hello, it's Melina here and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making a little recycle project. I bought tulips in my local grocery store the other day and I folded the paper bag and thought I would put it in the paper recycle bin but then I realized it looked like a little journal and I picked it up again and thought why not make it into a little journal. I just glued the end of the bag that's open uh, shut. I, I glued it together so it's closed and I used the brayer and uh, give the whole bag a coat of white gesso. I realized that the bag fit perfectly on my gel plate so I thought why not use the gel plate to give the bag a little bit of background. It's a really easy way to cover large um, pieces. The white I put on the plate is Deco Art Media tinting base and also fluid acrylics and the tinting base makes the fluid acrylic a little more opaque. And I just make some marks using uh, that Scrafty mask, some Punchinella, um, old packaging and stuff like that. Now I clean my jelly plate and uh, a bonus is that I pick up all the colors I have used in my journal and I can use that clean up paper later for things in my journal and then I know it's the same colors and it will go nice with the rest of the journal. Now I just add some uh, white space using uh, white gesso. And for extra texture I use a palette knife to apply it. This is the Dutch Crafty Grunge Flowers set 6 that I will be using for my cover page.
this is my piece of paper that I used to clean my brayer when gel printing and now I use that piece for extra flowers to cut out and put on my cover. I color in the flowers and the leaves uh, using DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics. This time without the tinting base because now I want them to be translucent so I don't lose the details of the stamped images. I just grab one of my uh, That's Crafty stencils on my desk and use some of that um, leftover paint to add another layer to um, one of the other pages in the journal. I hate to waste any paint and I try to try to use them. These are all the colors that I used when gel printing and because of that I know that they go with my journal nicely. Now this is the back cover um, and I wanted to <coughs> kind of um, make a, a border around the edges on that one too with the same colors as on the front cover um, so they kind of match each other but of course I will do something completely different on that page when the time comes. Here I just bring out some of the blue from the background that was kind of lost under all those flowers and uh, it also helps to create that frame around the page that I'm after. This is a new stencil from That's Crafty and I use it for my words on the cover and it will read my creative journey. As you will see the M kind of 
smudge a little bit and you will see how I fix that. This is a piece of fake leather string. Um, I thought I could use that one as a closure. Um, this journal will become more bulky when I work on the rest of the pages and I thought I wanted to add something to keep, keep it together and closed. Now I will just add the final details, making the centers of the flowers yellow, adding uh, my cut out paper flowers and add a little bit of white for highlights and that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this video and that you will follow me fill up the rest of the journal. I hope to see you back on my channel soon again. Bye bye!